All right, if we see a problem like this, it will be crucial not to multiply these like we did with the other multiplication of radicals, which would give us the square root of 33, right? Because I'd have two negatives being multiplied together. Since I have these two negative square roots multiplied together, though, what I can do is pull out an i from each of these. So I'd have i times the square root of 11 times i times the square root of 3. Yeah, so let's multiply these now. So I have uh, i, I'm just going to rearrange these right now for me. I know not everyone needs it. So I got i times i times the square root of 11 times the square root of 3. This gives me i squared times the square root of 33. Square root of 33 can be simplified, but I squared can. I squared is a negative 1. So I'd, I would have the square root of, neg I'm sorry, negative 1 times the square root of 33 right there. Of course, we don't really have to show the 1. 